Hi everyone! Today I wanted to show you how to change the language in Edgenuity. First, go in and log into your dashboard. Once you're at your dashboard, you're going to see obviously all of your classes. And I want you to head to next activity on whatever course you want to continue on. So I'm clicking next activity. What you're going to notice is that everything is automatically in English. Because we are a United States program, we um, are going to have everything in English. But of course, we give you the option to change the language. If you look in the upper right corner, you're going to see the word English with a little arrow next to it. What you are then going to do is click on that English button and you are going to see a drop down menu of all of the different languages that your program can be translated into. You can also see at the very bottom, there is the word more. If you click on that, you're going to see even more languages that you can choose from. Today, I'm going to be translating everything into Spanish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that Spanish button. And what you normally have to do also is click it a second time. If it doesn't work the first time, click it a second time. Give it a few seconds and it should translate everything on your screen into the language you choose, in my case, Spanish. If you'd like to listen to a translation, what you can do is you can head to the left side and there is a um, button with headphones on it. If you click on those headphones, you're gonna see a pause, which is the square, and a play button, which is the triangle, and a speed adjustment button. What this allows you to do is to listen to the translation. So the way you would use this is you would highlight the text you want to listen to, you head to that button, and you click play. This then speaks out loud the translation for you to listen to. You can do large text or short text. You can even do um, things in the top if you want to listen to that. You can pretty much highlight most things and listen to it. Another thing that you can use as far as a tool is this little plus button in the right. If you click on that plus button, you're going to be taken to your e-notes, your glossary, and your transcription. Starting with your e-notes, this is the space where you can take notes as you're going through your lessons. The glossary is where you have the terms and the definitions, and then you have your transcription. So the transcription actually is mainly used for videos, which I will show you in a minute. But going back to glossary, if you notice that it is in English, that just means you need to kind of reload your page. So go back up to your English right now, and I'm going to go back to Spanish. Okay, see how it kind of changed it up a bit? So now it's actually showing me the, um, the words in Spanish. So if it doesn't work the first time, just go back up and re-click it, and it should work. Um, I'm going to show you how to use your transcriptions now though, and to do that, I'm going to log out, go to my home page, and I'm going to go to a different lesson. This lesson um, has a video on it. What you're going to notice immediately is that everything has gone back to English. So it does reset every time you exit or enter um, a new lesson. So I'm going to go straight back up to that English button and press Spanish twice. Give it a second and you're going to notice everything's back in Spanish. But you are going to notice that my video itself is not in Spanish. The person talking also is not speaking in Spanish. So sadly, we do not have a way to translate the videos as far as audio but we do have a way to translate it with your transcription button. So if you notice, I clicked on the transcription, but everything is in English. So again, if it's not working, go back to English and then go back to whatever language and it should reload with the transcription. Now everything is in Spanish. The numbers show you at what time the person is talking. So you can follow along 
while the video is going and understand what is happening. Another tool you can use is obviously going back to the um, listening part. You can highlight all of this if you want. You can do small sections. You can do all of it. Head over to the microphone and press play. And guess what? It will read it to you. Another wonderful option is if you go to the bottom of the video and you click on the little CC, which stands for closed captions, you will also see that it shows the subtitles of the video. This though will not be translated, um, but it might help those who just need to see the words, but it will be in English. Besides for that, most things in Edgenuity can be translated, but just know that not everything will be translated.